the day is upon us. Welcome to NAB 2018. NAB 101, you gotta get your stretches in first. Hey, we're at Aperture and <laughs> yes. Ted and Nerys. Yo! Yes. My favorite people on the YouTube. We're actually a Total Visuals fans. We're fanboys, we follow her everywhere she goes. You gotta say what up A-Fam. What up A-Fam? <laughs> you guys make these really cool like lighting tutorials on YouTube now. Yeah. We do. So basically, we're trying to do educational content, you know? I love it. Absolutely. If you want to improve your, your cinematography game, it's not about the camera, it's about your lighting for sure. That's yeah. some really good tips. Like some of the themes are, what is it, like 70s arcade stuff. I mm -hmm. saw that one. There was hey. like romantic scenes. Oh my gosh, Kitty watches our videos. I watched them. Yes. Yes. <laughs> They're sick. Oh, More. we're standing. Okay. <laughs> Anytime we could sit down at this event, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. All okay. right. 120D Mark II. So you have the 120D already. This is a far improved version of the 120D. So basically, what we've done here is we've made the 120D 35% brighter. So even brighter than the original 120D. And we've taken the same power outlet. The power adapter and the controller box are now one. So this is the only thing in between the wall and your light. This right here, I'll be able to change my intensity. And you've got cable locks. And you've got DMX in and out now. So if you want to use light boards. This is now aircraft grade and metal housing. Super, super tough. But in a nutshell, it's basically everything that you like about your 120D with build improvements. You've got yokes here, things that are way tougher. This can now be underslung as well. So if I take this off. I like that you guys really take into consideration everyone's feedback and then you like change things. I think we're the only company that reads YouTube comments. <laughs> like for a living, we like read a lot of YouTube comments. And their Instagram. I know, we get a ton of tough skin by reading YouTube comments all day. We're gonna go walk check out the new light dome. There's a new light dome. There's a new light dome. It has a one-shot build, so basically all I have to do is take squeeze these and the entire thing breaks down. Finally! I'm so and excited for this one. If I want to rebuild it, so one second, I have uh, the actual next okay, thing that I want to show down here. here. This is with a grid too. There's a grid that comes with it as well. It's a 50 degree grid. There's gonna be three different types of diffusion. So you've got a half frost, a full frost, and a magic cloth. So you can choose how thick your diffusion is. But this is the main feature that I think everyone really wants to see. Give me a countdown. Three, oh, three. <laughs> three, three, two, one. <laughs> light dome set up. Oh my God. The new light domes can be built up in under two seconds. And with the magic cloth and diffusion, in addition to having different types of diffusion and the grid, we've also got gel holders. So if you wanted to change the color temperature of your light, all you gotta do is just snap that on, that snaps in, and all I have to do is- Magnetic. Magnetic. What the? Everything's so fast and easy. You could set this up within like hey, 10 seconds. Hey, hey. Um, so this is the new Light Dome Mark II. It comes out in two to three months. It's gonna be under $200 is the goal. So the MX is three to four times brighter than the M9. If you guys like the M9, you already know that it's a super bright light. The MX takes that even further. It's three times brighter. Why is it three to four times brighter? Well, if I take this and I press the boost mode, this will actually pump my LEDs even brighter for a 60 second cycle, blindingly bright, size of a credit card, super thin, super bright, aircraft grade aluminum housing with a built-in internal battery. You don't see it, but the camera guy behind you is having a great day looking at this right now. <laughs> He's just very happy. By color, this is the brightest mini LED on the market. And the F7, which is its little brother, is the brightest pound for pound light. Currently I love this market. like back design that you guys did. Yeah. That so the red. Actual, the actual housing of it is the heat sink for the light. So now it's a metal light and it also disperses heat without a fan. Built-in lithium battery, magnetic diffusion. These just started shipping two, three days ago. So the Leco attachment right here, I can do a clean circle on the wall that is completely shapeable. So check these out. So now I can get a hard slash of light anywhere that I want. I can do a little box or anything like that. We're talking about complete light control. If I really want to have fun, not only can I put gels on the front, but I can also slip this in here. Boom, aperture A on the wall, and now I can shine this anywhere. So what that basically means is I could do is checkerboards, I could put a window on the wall, just out on its own. I'm blinding a bunch of people, but Sorry. this is for YouTube. Get out of the way. Just for YouTube. Chimera adding this on, it really makes it a new light. Super, super soft with two different types of diffusion cloth. You look so beautiful. I thank you. There's a thing in a glass case. We're not showing it to anybody until the dinner tonight. It's the only time it's getting pulled out of the case. It's a secret. 
it? Secret? I don't is, know. Can you give us a hint? A is there like a clue? Like a super prototype. Uh, you know, a lot of features are still in workings. Okay, there's still, features. You got to plug yeah. it in. Is it battery powered? Yeah, there's features. Uh huh. Um, do you mean the black the black sheet? The black sheet's not battery powered. <laughs> the black sheet's all analog. Can, can you mount it? Is it mountable? Uh, you can mount a black sheet on really anything. Okay. Sometimes you use grommets. Sometimes you use cloth. Uh, I personally use my black sheets to sleep in. Holy crap. I need to put this in my living room. Can you imagine watching movies on this? Look at their every, you could play fucking Mario Kart. They have the Switch connected to this huge LED screen. We're at Absent Booth right now. You know, my gaming nerdy ass needs to get my games in even at NAB. They have Sennheiser iOS mics that you could directly connect to your iPhone here. If you got money to spend, highly recommend the Sennheiser for sure. Gamer headphones, just kidding. <laughs> Broadcast headsets. So nice to meet you, Nick. Hey. Thanks for watching my videos. That's awesome. This yeah. is what keeps me going, by the way, when I get to meet you guys. Oh, you're you're awesome. Mm -hmm. I love your reviews. Subscribe to her channel. Hey, fam. Hola. How are you? <laughs> you're looking at an NAB. Everything. Everything. Gimbals, most of all. Do you know where the DJI booth is? I've been looking for it. I'm going there. It's, you are? It's, 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 it's maybe over there. I think we go this way. <laughs> Finally made it to DJI booth, even though I've been lost for about 20 minutes now. You guys have non-stopped asked me about this Ronin S, so I'm going to check it out right now. Finally getting our hands on the Ronin S. Tell me a little bit about why this is so amazing. So you're more, like, have more room to play around with. You don't have to, like, need too much space to walk with a camera. Uh, right now, we don't have, like, a final spec of the weight, but we try up to 8 pounds, no problem. We try also like 75, uh, 75 miles per hour, no problem. So it's gonna be like announced, like the final price and the final specs like the next month. Oh, the motors are set lower, so you guys see the screens. Oh, so what are these? Different, you, you can change like the reaction speed of the camera, of the gimbal, sorry. So right now having the slowest one, you can customize it, but. Just by one button? Yeah, you just click. So now it's gonna be more reactive, you see. Mm -hmm. Number three, get more reactive and if I hold it's gonna get in sport mode it's going like kind of follow my hand just by one button you can change the speed of the pan and tilt just like that also a follow focus oh my god tell me about everything else yeah now we have two more accessories it's gonna be for the follow focus uh, it's gonna in certain lens it's gonna be used just with the data link uh, wire with any camera it, we're gonna we're gonna release the specs which cameras and lenses gonna work but we try to get with the most uh, brands and cameras compatible so with this, you're going to control the focus, and you have, uh, with this screen, you're going to be able to change all the settings. This comes with it, or is this like an it's added attachment? It's an add-on, add yeah, on. correct. Oh, yeah, where does the focus wheel go? Or is it just... Right connected? now, this one is not connected to the focus wheel, but here in the table, we have some of them connected to the original DEI focus one. Mm -hmm. So you can just attach the, uh, the ring in your lens, and you're going to be able to control it, no problem. Uh, with the wheel, you just press one time and set the point eight of the wheel, move it, Press it again, you set the point B. So now you have the range, the full range of the wheel. I'm so happy you guys have a single-handed gimbal now. This is this is the real deal right here. DJI has been working a long time on putting this out, so you know it's going to be good. I'm still at the DJI booth with Rob, and he's going to tell us all about this amazing setup here. So here we go. Hey guys, I'm Rob. I work with Mag Z, and for this show at NAB, we partnered up with DJI, and basically what we're doing here is we have our uh, robotic control arm with their Ronin 2 on the end. So with if you combine those two things together, you get something like this, where we can control the camera in so many different ways, move it so precise and fast. It's very simple. We can set up shots really quick, make adjustments really quick, which DPs love. So it's a, it's a great tool all around. Mag Z with the Atom, with a Ronin collab here. There you have it. Okay. We're at the Moza Gutson booth and we're here with Kevin and we're going to find out what the new new is. You know I'm a Moza fan so let's see what else they got. So one of the cool new products that we have coming out, this is actually a tripod that you can tether power in. So you can power on your gimbal and keep it going for a lot longer. This is also sweet because it wirelessly charges your phone if you have a phone that takes wireless power, like not, iPhone. Not mine. Ah, oh, you gotta upgrade then. Um, but the real utility of this is for, I do a lot of 360 VR filmmaking. That's genius, it's a battery charger I, I, and tripod. I don't think anyone else has this. No, they definitely they don't. Do, come back, I'll give you 50 bucks. Um, let me I'll show. look for it, I don't think it exists. I got the Moza Mini-Me right here. 
I would pull up Filmic Pro on here, but I don't know whose cell phone this is, and for some reason the facial recognition isn't working with my face. But what you can see on the controller here is you have the basic functionality to do pans, tilts. You can also set this to time-lapse mode and have it do a time-lapse all the way around. And you have this other nice functionality, which you don't see on most gimbals, the spin wheel. The spin wheel allows you to control things like ISO, focus, pretty much anything that you can control in Filmic Pro, you can do through this. What? On Filmic Pro too. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. It makes me want to start to get back into filming more with my iPhone. And I'll also speak on the functionality with this with VR and 360. Highly recommend this if you're an Insta360 One user and you want to do amazing live streams that are very stable going around showroom floors. It works, yeah, the Mini Me actually holds the moment lens wide without a counterbalance too. It's pretty impressive. Um, I wasn't sure if it was going to be able to do it, but honestly, these things can hold a lot of weight. They didn't even know, but now you know. <laughs> this is to support higher end VR cameras. Ultimately, this is designed in a way so you can stitch out the camera and make it appear like it's invisible and the camera's just sort of floating in front of you. You can find them on YouTube. Yeah, just look up Kevin Coons and you can see a daily video in 360 from NAB kind of exploring around, so check it out. We got Jason out here, we got everyone. This is Jason Vong, you already know. This is AJK. James, yes, What's going up, AFAM? Wait, let me do it again. This What's up, awesome. AFAM? Was that a good American accent or not? Yes, it was perfect. Josh, oh my but, god, look at uh, everyone's here. It's so hard on, to vlog with this thing. <laughs> rig, man. Yeah, that is a proper rig, love it. What's up, AFAM? What on? up, AFAM? Killing it. You've been rocking the floor, like just doing these professional. I've been She's trying like a to professional get professional interviewer. Amazing. CNN, NBC, all, all you lot. Just hire her now. We're at Sigma, trying to check out these new E-mount prime lenses. Instagram. I can do that. I can do that. I'm gonna go see the boys have a keynote on some gimbal stuff. King, I just want a reason to sit down. Yeah. So. Oh my god. I'm, I want a reason to sit down because my feet are killing me. <laughs> right. America's too big, man. The U.S. is too damn big. I can walk from one end of the UK to the other in about half hour. James is going to come by San Francisco after NAB and we're going to hang out. We're going to smash San Francisco. I've never been, so I'm buzzing. What up, NAB? What's what good? What is up? I don't know. Um, there's a couple of things that I do want to check out. Sony FS5 II. Did you go yet? I didn't. We've been so busy this morning. That's something I want to check out. I haven't and got Sony fanboy right here. If you oh, don't know Jason, oh yes, right here. he is such a... Sony fanboy. This I, should have, be... I have a Sony shirt too. And a Sony Peak Design strap. Is this thing that I saw? So here. so this is the Mantis and it's a robot with a stabilizer and a gyro. And this is the 360 round, the brand new VR camera from Samsung. 17 lenses, 3D and 3D stereoscopic virtual reality filming. Super cool times, super fun. NAB 2018. Come out in North Hall and see these cameras all over the place. Yes. Sorry. Kitty, come on, man. I'm going to sort you out with the best show ever. We've got Jason Vong. You can't go wrong with a Vong. Damn, we've got, there we've got we go. Sydney De Jong Zon. You can't go wrong with that, bro. Mm. We've got Josh from Momentum Productions. Yeah, you know, look at that it's peak. always going to be a. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. No, no, no. We can't expose him because he'll can't probably expose. get arrested. So, whatever genre that you like to uh, film, whether it's client work, whether it's music videos or, or weddings, Gimbals will help you tell your story better. We're gonna try some 360 video stuff. Never used it before, so this is a test. You wanna edit now? for me? <laughs> I can get this done tonight. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I tried, I tried. But yeah, this is Josh, everyone, if you're not following him. Momentum Productions, Woo! you should know by now. Kitty, you are awesome. Oh. Who on in the uh, channel, just so you know, she won't probably talk about it, but Kitty is one of the most coolest people ever. Tell all your friends about her. Amazing, she's very smart, does a lot of amazing reviews, and does a lot of practical things, and so, if you haven't subscribed, then you have to subscribe and tell everyone about it. I paid him to say that. That's Jason true. Vong as well. 100%. And follow, yeah, Jason Vong as well, and James, and Sydney. You should all know them by now. If you're not following them, links down below or the somewhere. The squad is so tight, man. All right, it's about dinner time. We're going to head to the Cosmo Wicked Spoon because there's a secret dinner that Aperture is holding. They're going to reveal something. <gasps> I wonder what it is. RJP Life already to 
approximately a 500 watt tungsten equivalent and can do the entire color spectrum, 360 color. And you'll be able to scan those colors, and your light will be able to match them. You'll be able to save colors in real time. You'll be able to have a color picker like Photoshop in real time, but I can walk around and point and match things. At dinner, how many ice creams have you had? Seven, and I have no shame. Look who I found at dinner. Hey! We are just talking gimbal stuff, you know, I'm all about the gimbal stuff. That'll be it's pretty rad. Pretty what did you like at NAB the best so far? Um, the Black Magic Pocket. I haven't even been to the booth yet. It's pretty sick. It looks terrible. It needs a brown paper bag. You guys inspire me every day. The same way I hope our you know, creative technology inspires you. But please get the fuck out. <laughs> so it's Sydney's birthday tomorrow. He's turning 33. <laughs> This is the party booth for sure. Best birthday ever! Oh my god. He met Left Coast. Met Left Coast is here. She needs some B-roll and hanging out, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk the strip. James has never been to Vegas, let alone America, so we gotta show him some things. <laughs> What's up, guys? What up, hey fam? We're in Vegas right now, and uh, let's see, we got Jason over here taking over the vlog. We got James, we got Sid, and I'll tell you what, you need to follow Josh Morgan from Momentum Productions. You are such a sweetheart, Sydney. I oh, you're right here. Right here. You are Subscribe to all of them. Unbelievable lighting in this gap. Yeah, it's great. They, they paid me for this plug. Subscribe so. to my Viddler Better. on my space. Can you check out Hero. my discount? Oh, snap. We made it to the pods or whatever the hell these things are called. Shooting me, look at the look at look at the behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. James, how's Vegas? Fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> Wingardium Liviosa. <laughs> You're a wizard, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> I am dying right now. <laughs> that was a very long, festive day. Time to go to bed and deal with NAB day two. Peace.